Brown eye color is a dominant trait, whereas blue eye color is a recessive trait. A combination of two dominant alleles results in offspring with brown eyes. A combination of a dominant allele and a recessive allele results in offspring with brown eyes. However, a combination of two recessive alleles results in offspring with blue eyes. The letter capital B is used to represent a dominant allele, whereas the letter lowercase b is used to represent a recessive allele. One parent's alleles are seen on the left-hand side of the square, and the other parent's alleles are seen on top of the square. The genotypes of the offspring are missing from the boxes below. Please fill in the missing allele combinations below and determine what percentage of the offspring will have brown eye color and what percentage will have blue eye color. And we see A, B, C, and D answer choices. So first, I'd like you to fill out the square and then... Uh, and obviously you can't really fill it out, so maybe you, you can draw a little square like this out on a piece of paper and try to fill it in that way. Um, whatever works for you. And then pick, is it A, B, C, or D? What percentage will have brown eye color and what percentage will have blue eye color? So now will be a good time for you to pause the video. Uh, try to figure this one out. Take all the time in the world that you need. And as always, if you get stuck, don't worry about it. Uh, so let's have you try this now. Okay, so let's talk about this here. So before we go any further here, um, let's go over how to fill in the, the Punnett square here. So basically, we just want to fill in the combinations here, and you usually want to write the uh, uppercase letter first here. So um, I don't know, maybe this is like the mom parent, and this is the dad, or vice versa. But anyway, we're going to take one big B from top here, and this little B over here on the left, we're going to plug that in here. All right, so for this allele, we're going to put the big B first, and we see over here we've got this little B allele, so we just fill it in right here. Okay. All right, now we're going to take this big B allele and drop it in right here, and we're going to combine it with this little allele over here. And then we're going to take this big B allele, and we're going to write it combined with this little allele over here. Okay, so we see that uh, there's four different uh, possible combination of the alleles. All right, and now we have to decide the eye color. So, so if you got this far, then good job so far. If not, hopefully you're starting to see how to fill out these Punnett squares, all right, at the very least. Now, let's look at the different combinations here. All right, so it tells us here that big B represents the dominant allele, whereas little b is used to represent the recessive allele. So it tells us that a combination of a dominant allele and a recessive allele is going to result in offspring with brown eyes. So the dominant allele is big B. The, little, uh, the recessive allele is this little b right here. And if we combine one dominant allele with one recessive allele, the offspring will have brown eyes. Now, in all of the for all four of the different combinations of alleles that we see down here, they are all have one big B allele and one little B allele. So, actually, in this case here, it's going to be 100% brown eyes and zero blue eyes. 